I'm coming back to campus from Hinsdale, Illinois. It's been about three months since beginning of March since I've seen them. So I'm excited. We can get to see each other in small groups, obviously social distancing. Um, we have little pods that we get to work out in. Um, and I, we all get to get tested tomorrow, uh, COVID testing, and then quarantined for a week before we get to get tested again and then slowly get back into things if we, if we get two negatives. So my room is still a mess as I just moved back in and I have clothes everywhere. I'm actually very nervous to have the things stuck up my nose, but gotta do what you gotta do. Some of my teammates are near me. We're all socially distanced, but um, what are you guys expecting for the testing? From what I've heard, I don't know. Some people say it's bad, some people say it's not that bad, so we'll have to find out. That was like my main concern was just that everyone would be healthy and that we'd be safe. Um, I trust that if anyone ever were to get sick, Michigan State is gonna handle it well. So I wasn't concerned about that and my parents weren't either, but I was just like nervous about coming back and seeing how different things will be. We just got done testing. It was pretty bad for me, I don't know, but I, I, I got through it and my eyes were a little watery. The people were super cool though. And it was really fast, three seconds, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> you wanna say anything? Yeah. Oh my God, I have to sneeze, I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't bad. Um, it was quick in and out, it was very efficient. We were only in the building for 10 minutes and now we have the rest of our day. Yeah. Yep, and we just exited here. It's a one-way flow of people. Super easy. I see some of my teammates still going. Here comes another one. How'd it go? So far, so good. Let's stay distanced, Liz. <laughs> and here's another one. How'd it go, Bex? Yeah, you're crying. I think they definitely have had our best interests. I mean, some of the things like that we have to do, like, I, I don't know, we all joke about like, oh, this is kind of silly. Like, I have to be six feet apart from this girl, even though I live with her. But in, in the end, like our trainer Kelly keeps saying like, this is just so that we can have a season. Like this is so we have a season, we all stay healthy. And I think like they're doing a really great job with everything, giving us like snack bags and just making sure we have everything we need. You just got a water bottle with names on it uh, that we get to bring to and from once we're allowed to um, start practicing again. We're really trying our best just to be with our pods because if for some reason someone in a different pod did get exposed, only that pod would have to sit out. Whereas if we were with them, the whole team would have to sit out. So we're doing our best to just be with our pods and it's usually like who we're living with. So in my case, I'm actually living alone, but the girls that I'm with are all living together so I can go be with them. The birthday girl. <laughs> My friends are amazing! <laughs> so it was Naya's birthday, her 20th birthday. The third day we were back, we surprised her um, with a like little picnic. She had no idea we were even doing it. Then while we were eating and like just playing games out there, the rest of our team, we arranged like a drive-by. <laughs> it was so cute. She was so happy. It was the first time we all got to see each other being back. Even though like everyone else in the team was just in their car and I could only see them from a distance, like it was so nice being able to see everyone and it's hard not to run up and hug everyone, but I know like that was really special for Naya and our whole team. So it was a really good day. Workout pause. No! What happened? Workout pause. I just worked out with a few of my teammates in my pod and now we're walking in to get tested for the second time. Uh, luckily our entire team was negative last time we got tested. So that means that if we all test negative again today, um, we get to start getting back in the gym. Usually find out about two days later, so hopefully Wednesday. The three stations that we can go to and then we get tested down there. All done. Gibby, thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> 
Hey, Gigi. How you feeling? I'm very excited. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. I'm now get to walk downstairs. My group starts on the court first, so I'm gonna head down there with my group first. Being back is just like, I can't really describe it, it's so nice. The first day we were back in the gym, we were all just like giddy happy because we were like, oh my gosh, we're back. We're touching volleyballs, like there's a net. It was just like a little kid, like in a candy shop type of happy just to be back on the court. So T's over there on a carpet square. Naya's on hers, and we're all spread out individually on our carpet squares. Social distancing. Gibby, what are you doing? Sanitizing. Sanitizing the balls. The balls. Okay. Yeah. Every ball once we're done. Being respectful. Okay. I think it's kind of hard because I go back and forth with being like, oh, I want a season, I want a season, I want a season no matter what. And also like, okay, it's bigger than just volleyball right now. Like this is like, a pandemic, people's lives are at risk. If it's putting people in danger, then we shouldn't have a season. Sometimes I feel like I'm almost being like selfish, thinking about myself and volleyball, but I also like just don't want to lose that focus because I'd much rather be the girl who is working every single day for a season we don't have than to be someone who, that isn't working and then we do have a season. I think that's our whole team's idea is just like to work, 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 and just hope and pray that we have a season. And then if we don't, then we're just gonna keep working until we do. If I have to wash off every single volleyball after I touch it so that we can have a season, I'll do it. <laughs> Yesterday, we got the news that the Big Ten is postponing all fall sports, our seasons, until hopefully the spring. Um, so for us, this means that we will not be playing volleyball, football, field hockey, soccer, and any other fall sport in the fall, um, which was pretty devastating to hear. Um, but when it comes down to it, um, there are bigger things going on right now. If it's gonna be risking anyone's safety and health and anyone's life, God forbid, um, we don't wanna be playing to put anyone at risk. But we have really gotten a mindset of just our goals don't change. Whether it happens in December in a national championship or in April in a national championship, our goals don't change. Yes, it's disappointing that we have to wait to play. And of course, everyone wanted to get in the gym and play in Jenison as quickly as we could. I'm really proud of how my team has been responding and how we've just been coming together and supporting each other and just understanding the severity of the situation and trying to keep each other as safe as we can.